today during their purple and gold spring game. WNCT's Tamara Scott was there and tells us more about what fans hope to see in the upcoming season. Clear skies, live music, and barbecue plates are a perfect recipe for an ECU spring game. Hundreds of fans are here at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium getting their first look at next year's team. We're pirates, We're pirates. so that's we why we're here. Trudy Sutton and Linda Messer are diehard pirate fans. It's a good day to be a pirate. <laughs> That's why they and dozens of others headed out to this year's purple and gold scrimmage in Pigskin Pig Out. For some, they want to see their family play on the field. Our son, Aaron Ramsey, is number 51. Okay. And um, we're just really excited for him. While others like alumni Hunter and Christina Wood wouldn't miss an opportunity to pass on the torch. We, uh, we're from Orlando, actually. We moved down there after graduating. So not a whole lot of pirate fans down there. So we're just trying to expose them to the pirate nation and get them up here as much as we can. So now they're getting older, we're, we're playing on not missing the spring game. So we always try to get them up and bring them up and let them have fun and dance and do all that fun stuff. I got to do Mr. Mo. Yeah. Coach Mo. This is an opportunity to have fun and meet the players, but fans say this is also the time when they can see what next season may look like. I uh, want to see a lot more, a lot more running, a lot more run, running back running. Well, I know we're going to do some things different, so I know we may go into center some, which we haven't done. I'm happy about. Many fans say they're excited to see how Coach Montgomery's discipline will play out on the field. In Greenville, Tamara Scott, nine on your side. The ECU Pirates will start their, their fall season on September 2nd when they take on the James Madison Dukes. 